Hi, and welcome. In this video, I will reveal to you all the secrets of using search engine optimization to generate a massive amount of traffic to your site. If you are able to master this skill to make your store more SEO friendly, you won't need any other technique to generate traffic. As you already know, SEO is the most powerful technique internet marketers are using to boost website visibility. You may already know how powerful it is, but you might be wondering how to do it. So without further ado, I'm going to tell you the secrets of optimizing the SEO of your store. Before we get in any further in depth, we must first understand the basics of SEO. For everyone's benefit, let's refresh our minds on the concept of SEO. SEO is the process of affecting the visibility of a website in search engines. The better you optimize your store with SEO, the higher the visibility of your store on search results pages. This may sound difficult for some of you because you are competing with an enormous number of internet users around the world. However, if you play the right card at the right time, succeeding with SEO is not as hard as you might imagine. SEO links all the sites with similar keywords together to make them searchable online. When someone searches the term piano, everything related to piano will show up on the results page. When your store is SEO friendly, you can increase the exposure of your store on search results. You will buy a domain name with the keywords you want in it, and then when someone looks for that certain keyword, your site will pop up in the search results. This is how SEO works. It is all about keywords. You're going to play with keywords to increase your site's exposure. What's next after increasing exposure? The traffic to your site will increase as well, provided you have a really good keyword. When you have a really competent keyword in your niche, the rate of your site showing in the search results page is higher. Thus, you are going to see traffic increase over the long run. You have to be patient with SEO. It's a long-term investment. It might not show you instant results, but in the long run, SEO is definitely the best thing for providing your business exposure. When you have increased traffic to your site, you will certainly increase your mailing list. A mailing list is one of the most valuable assets for a marketer because the bigger the mailing list, the higher chance you'll get more sales from a product launch. The same thing applies if you have a lot of subscribers to your newsletter. It gives you the opportunity to get more sales from a product launch. Here's a tip for you. When the traffic to your site increases with a good SEO plan, direct them to a squeeze page to collect their email address and name to grow your mailing list first. Most store owners do not know how much money they have left behind by not collecting email addresses first. Let's talk about criteria for a keyword search. In order to get a good result in SEO, keywords play a vital role. You need to use the right keyword for the search engine to drive users to your site. There is no right or wrong answer for this part. It all depends on your niche. First, of course, the keyword has to be relevant to your content. You don't want to use a keyword that is not related to your site because you don't want to be looked at as a spammer. This is the most essential factor that search engines take into account when they evaluate sites. The worst case of using a wrong keyword is you could be penalized by the search engine and forced to take down your site. Next is to determine the terms or phrases searched in major engines. Most of these keywords are highly competitive, as many of the other companies all want to claim ownership over major keywords. This kind of keyword will usually require a higher price to start with. You might want to avoid these, especially when you first begin. Google provides a service named Keyword Traffic Estimator. It's a tool that tells you how many times a certain keyword is searched online. If you have a large enough budget, go for it. If you do not wish to wait a long time, as I said, SEO can be a time-consuming process. You can buy a sample campaign from Google AdWords. Look within your niche, list out all the potential keywords, and then you can delete the ones that don't fit that criteria. Once you've decided on the keyword, buy the domain name and the keyword from any search engine. You'll see traffic will start coming into your site pretty soon. Now, let's discuss Google AdWords. Google is the most recognized paid advertising platform in the world, with a huge number of users. In fact, Google has 86% of the search engine market. More than half of the world's population goes to Google's search engine first before anything else. 
As mentioned, Google AdWords advertises with SEO. And now you know how to research keywords. Optimize your store and buy the advertising campaign with Google AdWords to boost your ad rank on the search engine. Last but not least, the budget you are going to spend for Google AdWords is fully under your control. You may have thought that advertising with Google is a huge expense for you, but it's not. You get to set your own daily budget for the advertising campaign. To give you a clearer picture on how exactly Google AdWords works, I'll walk you through what Google AdWords can do for you now. First, it makes your page stand out in search results. Now you know how Google AdWords functions and how efficient it is to bring massive traffic to your site. Of course, you know that good things never come for free. You will pay Google a fee based on your bid amount every time someone clicks on your ad. You need not worry that Google will simply charge you for occupying their ad space. You will only pay when someone clicks on the link to your store. Other than appearing on the top or side of the first search result page, Google does advertise on other people's websites as well. You can buy banner advertising on popular pages from Google, and you don't need to worry about getting permission from the site owner. Google already did that for you. To start the advertising campaign with Google AdWords, you just need to follow three simple steps. First, create your own AdWords account. And don't worry, this is free of charge, and the process is quite simple. You only need to put in your email address and your password. Google will automatically fill in the other fields if you are already a Google user. In just a few minutes, you'll be up and running. Next step, you will choose the keywords for your site. Make sure the keywords are appropriate for your site. The final step is to set your daily budget based on your financial plan. Let's say the pay-per-click is $0.10 cents on average for a particular keyword, and you would like to bid for 100 clicks per day. Your daily budget will be $0.10 cents times 100, so in total, $10 a day. Different keywords may have different starting bids. Of course, after testing the traffic your keyword generates over a few weeks or months, you can increase the bid if you think it will give you more traffic. The ultimate goal of doing all this bidding is to move your site to the top of the ad rank. This is what competition is in AdWords. The higher your ad rank is, the better exposure your site will get. Ad rank is used by Google to determine the placement of your ads. You might be wondering how this actually works. Well, I'll reveal that to you now. One of the factors that affects your ad rank is the auction for clicks, which is how much you bid on the keyword. Every user gets to choose how much to bid on the same keyword. However, your ad rank is not only based on how much you've bid. If you think that the higher bidder gets a higher rank, you're wrong. Besides looking at the daily budget you've set, Google also looks at the quality of the sites as well to make ad rank decisions. Now, you may be wondering how you might get a higher rank. First, you must understand how Google sets standards for every site. Google only wants to show relevant sites in their search engine and avoid advertisers with money to simply purchase ads if their ads are irrelevant. You can move your site up to the top in ad rank if you follow this ad rank formula, which consists of five elements. If you manage to master the skills to maximize these five elements, you're going to get yourself up to the top of the ad rank. The first element is the bid for the keyword. You're competing with millions of advertisers all around the world, so make sure you do keyword research beforehand. You wouldn't want to bid on an irrelevant keyword for nothing. The second element is the expected click-through rate. And this is not something that we could predict because it's fully determined by Google based on their own prediction of how many people will click on your ad. For your information, Google actually asks feedback from their users from time to time by allowing them to vote for their clicks. Based on this result, Google will then evaluate the traffic they think will get sent to your site. This is not under your control. However, you can increase your click-through rate by choosing the right keywords. The next element is landing page experience. Google emphasizes this because your landing page determines if your site matches the keywords you choose. If your landing page contains relevant and original content, is easy to navigate, and the transparency of your business is high, Google is more likely to rate your store high. Other than this, Google analyzes the relevancy of a site by reading the site content. And once again, this proves to us how important it is to pick the right keyword according to your niche. 
It will determine how well your site will be ranked. The final element for ad rank is the ad format. Ad format is the way you present your site in the search engine, such as the side links, websites domain, meta descriptions, and the other headlines. Google will look into all these elements under the ad format category.